So I thought I'd do a video of review on the making of the Renotron board that I made. So uh, here it is. Uh, I haven't really programmed it much except to cycle through some uh, expressions that you can find on arenatronboard.com. Uh, interestingly enough, that website uh, has the exact same uh, resolution as the panel I used. So here it is from the front. And the other side, and the back. Uh, the 3D model is from Porcelain Props. Uh, I did, however, have to print the model at uh, around a 112% scale so that it would fit the panel. And before I start disassembling it, let me show you what it looks like uh, if you're wearing it. Okay, so it might be a little hard to see on camera, but it's actually quite visible. Uh, when you focus through, rather than looking at the panel, you can you sometimes kind of forget. It just seems like it just kind of seems like you're wearing sunglasses. Um, okay, so the model is made to be collapsible, so. Uh, it's, the mask is held together by magnets on the front. Uh, let me turn this off before I disconnect it. Magnets on the top, on the uh, front part. Let me disconnect these wires. Yeah, front panel. No light from the back, but you can see it from the front. Uh, before I forget, the, uh, the front panel, this part's just plexiglass. Uh, the black stuff is just that's upside down. The black stuff is privacy control window film. You basically, stick it on, and uh, whatever's on the brighter side is visible, but the whatever's on the darker side is not visible. So from this side, it just looks black, but when it is over your face and you're looking at something brighter, then it is visible. And if you don't really like looking through the mesh of the LED panel, you could just kind of like look over it and it's just like sunglasses. Then the headband comes off. Uh, I mean, theoretically it can. It's Stuck in there, kind of hard, kind of, kind of tough. But I mean, if I wanted to travel with it, I could take it apart easily and then just reassemble it. Uh, so on the left side, this is this might look like a complicated mess of wires, but really it's just the battery attached to a battery charger unit and also a on-off switch. So uh, you can charge it by USB-C. Then on, in the other ear cup, we have the actual board. Really simple, just three wires uh, soldered to it for uh, five volt ground and then the signal wire. The signal wire uh, is what controls the front panel. Then the front panel, you didn't, I didn't actually have to solder anything onto it. It already came pre-soldered with the input side and the output side. The output side, I'm not actually really doing anything with that. It's just used for power. 
I actually had to desolder some wires because it had uh, it had some extra ground and five volt wires soldered to it, which I did not need. I guess now is the part of the video where I show you some gameplay footage of me playing video games while wearing the mask. Okay, so I forgot to record an ending, so uh, I'll share links and my code in the description if anybody actually wants that. So if you do want that, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and give me a peep. Oh, Popo.